So I sent out a warning uh, a couple weeks ago when I posted some video clips from my drone and said I had something crazy up my sleeve and sure enough, here it is. Today are dipping his toe into the ocean of moto vloggers. And right about now, I can kind of see keyboards and phones and tablets firing up, friends and family. Everybody wondering how can he think he's going to be successful doing something like this? Well, it's easy. Set the bar pretty low. Well, to me, it all depends on how you define success, I guess. Set your expectations fairly low and you yeah, probably won't get too disappointed. My main keys to success are, oh, well, there's just a few of them. Not getting kicked off YouTube. For whatever reason they might come up with, like they figure out I'm just using their space to store all my silly videos. I suppose I ought to say, not lose any friends. Fair warning, uh, I'm probably going to be telling some life stories through some of these videos. So, uh, if you don't want to be included, you best probably let me know now. Last names won't be used, but I'll try to mask identities in such a way that they ain't met you, they ain't gonna know who you are. I suppose you gotta have some goals. I know a lot of people get into this thinking they're gonna make a fortune and become the, you know, quit their day jobs and just go out having fun. And there's some people that were able to do it, but YouTube changed the rules, so that's next to impossible now. And the uh, levels of that I'd have to surpass to get there are well way beyond my other goals for example you need a thousand subscribers my basic goal is 11 there's a mathematical reason behind that number maybe one of the re one of these days I'll tell you what that is but I don't think that's too lofty but my number one goal in all of this is just to have some fun. I like riding around on this vehicle I've named Patricia. I cruise all over New Hampshire, parts of Vermont and Maine, and I have a great time doing it. I see some great things, meet some neat people, usually have my cameras with me, my camera and my drone, and often get some decent pictures that I can share. There's a few things you definitely won't get from watching my videos. I try to stay away from commentary on political and current events because Lord knows nowadays you disagree with somebody and suddenly they're out to get you and shut you down and shut you up and hell life's too short to get all that serious about it so don't get me wrong, I'll give you some commentaries, but it's more on the sillier side of life. Things that you can disagree with without really being having your feelings all hurt. You don't hear any great equipment reviews or whatnot. I like what I like, you like what you like. I'm not experienced enough at this stuff to 
be giving anybody any advice. There are better channels out there for that. You won't be getting any mechanical tips. Oh God, no. Once had a great friend of mine tell me that uh, if he ever saw me walking towards any of his equipment with a wrench in my hand, he'd probably shoot me. And well, I can understand the feeling because I am one of the least mechanically inclined people on the face of the planet. So you won't be getting any of that here. What you will be getting is ride-alongs, views of what I'm looking at, a whole heap of self-deprecating humor. pretty hard on myself and there's a reason for that because if anybody else starts put, trying to put me down it's like <laughs> I've heard that crap before if they go any harder than I think I deserve well I know it's their problem not mine Jim exceeding the speed limit. Try not to make a huge habit of it, but it happens on occasion. I have my moments of immaturity. Bottom line is, when I jump on this thing and start riding around, I land in my own little world and I don't know, I think it's a pretty neat place and kind of like to share it with folks. So if you're interested in watching, you know, come on back. You can see a link to my channel. So if you don't want to subscribe bookmark that someplace and you can come back and see me anytime. Some of what you'll see on a lot of videos, which is just me riding around with a camera on, seeing all the pretty sights there are to see in this beautiful state that I love to call home.